Welcome back everybody! Now today I want to go over some stuff that I got when I got that Eternals Palace playset and all this stuff was made by Crackers, Props, and Prints on Instagram and his ass hooked me up once again with the deal of a lifetime on all these amazing 3D prints. I could not imagine walking away with all this when I went down there just to get the Eternals Palace but like I said he had to get rid of that for a reason he had some shit he had to get done in his basement. And while I was down there, I'm, ah, shit, I'm so glad I brought some more money with me. Because this shit was a steal. Let me tell you, we're going to go over it all right now. First up, we got the Gyrotactor. I don't know if I'm saying this shit right. This was an unreleased vehicle that they was going to do on the vintage line. Made for that guy right there, but also for He-Man to ride in. And this shit looks just like it did in the picture. This is an amazing 3D print. With all the stickers that he put on there, this shit definitely comes to life. You can see right there that little hole right in the seat. That's where that guy would have sat at. But other than that, this shit is hot. And it's got some special features with it. Watch this shit. You see that shit right there? The shit just comes right out. Just like it was supposed to with the vintage one. And it fits right in there nice and easy. This shit is clean as a motherfucker, I tell you. And the gun's on the top right there. It just sets it off. I love how that shit is. You see that? Even got a little rocket shit on the back right there. Perfect. Back tail lights. The same little rockets right there on the bottom right there. This is just what I wanted. And guess how much I paid for this shit? It was like, what? $15, $30? I don't even know. But it was cheap. And I'm very satisfied with it. Much appreciated. Up next, we got the bullet jet from the New Adventures line. This shit looks fast as a motherfucker. I would not want to ride this shit in real life. I would break my neck. I would break my back. I would die. You know what I mean? That shit looks so goddamn powerful. And it looks perfect. Another perfect print that he did right here. Oh my God. Look at Mega Neck. He looks like the perfect person to ride this shit because he got them big ass glasses on because you know your ass ain't going to be able to see shit going a thousand miles an hour. You know what I mean? All them big ass rockets. Now this is one vehicle I definitely don't think they're going to bring to the Origins line. But now I got it in my collection so it's in the Origins line for me. And this shit is incredible. A nice fast looking motorcycle for somebody to get from point A to point B. Up next we got the Blaster Hawk. Now, they got the vintage version, but it ain't as detailed as this shit. Look at the details all up in the wheels, all in the cogs right there. This shit looks so goddamn clean. Look at all that. The 3D printers that come out nowadays, this shit could just work magic. I cannot believe all this shit was 3D printed like that. This one right here, I think it cost me, uh, it was a little bit more. Maybe like $40. I, I don't know. He just gave me a deal of a lifetime. I could not turn it down. Even though I got a vintage version, this shit is just too beautiful to pass by. It even comes in and out, just like the vintage one. And all up in the mouth, look. It's even got the little shit that shoots out. It don't shoot it out. But that shit is up in there. Right here, looking at it from the back. You can see the upgraded parts on this compared to the vintage. It's got actual handles. You know what I mean? Something that a figure can actually hold on to compared to the vintage one. And I like it. It's even got the antenna right there on the top. This shit is built to perfection. I cannot believe it. Look, the bitch got wheels on it. It actually rolls back and forth. Watch this shit. Nice and easy. Right here compared to the vintage version, you can see that shit is pretty much on the money. Now, it don't got the sticker effects, but to me, it don't need it. Because the 3D printer printed that shit out and then some. It even's got headlights, tail lights, all that shit on there. It don't have all that extra shit where the button is. Because like I said, the shit don't actually shoot, but I don't need it to. I'm fine with it just like that. It don't got the spot. Where you put all the uh, little shit that shoots out in, but it don't need it. It looks good. He man is chilling and shit, ready to go fuck somebody up and get drunk at the same time. 
turn it around from the side. They're pretty much the same size. You know what I mean? That's a lot of plastic printing right there that he did to create this thing. Another knock out the park, but we got some more for you. Right here, we got the Easter Egg Collector Starship right there from the Filmation cartoon. This shit looks so good. Pairs up perfectly with the Filmation Beast Man. This is another clean ass print. You see all this shit right here? I actually ordered the eggs that go in the middle right there that they throw up in there. That shit will be in the mail shortly. But right here, I needed another ship. This one was actually designed by Yorko. And he knocked that shit out the park. Right there from the back. Clean. So clean. I would love to add a little fire effects. You know what I mean? Right there in the rockets. To make it look like that shit's blasting off. It don't got no controls. But I don't give a shit. That shit still looks so good to me. Even got look. It looks like the gas goes in right there and shit like that. Even Beast Man is impressed with that fucking ride. It would be nice to see Mattel bring this shit out to the Filmation Collection, but I doubt it. So far, they brought us one ride that's coming, which is a collector, which I also have on this table, which I'm going to go over after this. But if you want to add a little bit extra flair to your collection, you don't feel like waiting on Mattel, I highly suggest this one right here. Up next, we got the collector. This big ass fucking thing right here. I guarantee this thing is three times as big as the one that uh, Mattel got coming out. Now, this one in particular, it ain't as perfect as everything else on the table. You know what I mean? It's got a couple flaws in it. And for that, I only paid $40 for it. But $40 for this big ass thing right here? I'll pay it all day. Look at that shit. It looks perfect to me. I love the big ass face on it. The whole thing in general, he may piss on that shit, but I think that shit looks good. Right there is one of the little blemishes right there. It wasn't a perfect print, and he didn't really want to even sell it to me. But I told him I don't give a shit. That's just battle damage to me. Same thing with the wing right there. A little bit, you know what I'm saying, missing a piece. That shit could be a little bit better. He gave me actual pieces to replace it, but I ain't replacing that shit. Nah, nah, nah. This shit looks good right here. And it's huge, so massive. I'm gonna have to compare this to one of the other bigger vehicles I got. Right there on the other side, that's the other battle damage that I call it. And like I said, he gave me a piece to replace that with, but I am not cutting this bitch down at all. Nope, nope, nope. $40 well spent. I'd rather buy this shit than paying the what? $40 on the real one, which looks smaller than this? Yeah, no, I'm good with that. But this ain't it. The bitch opens up and you can put two figures in there and behind the seats right there, plenty of room. Now, right there, it's got the controls where, you know what I'm saying, if it had a sticker set, you put the stickers right there. But that shit just goes off and on. I'm so glad it can actually fit two figures up inside it. Like I said, it ain't the cleanest print out here, but for $40, what, what you gonna bitch about? This shit is perfect to me. And I'm so satisfied with this. Now, this is another one that Yorko designed. And he also got an upgraded version. Where I believe the back can pop off. You know what I mean? You do some shit up in there. But right there, look. Another blemish. Another battle damage. That's what I call that shit. It's fine. He made a piss on it. Skeleton don't like seeing that shit. But this is a nice collector vehicle. I wish that the Filmation version that uh, Mattel came out with. Looked a little bit more accurate like this one does. Right there compared to the attack track, which looks very massive. That I did a whole, you know what I'm saying, review on. This is bigger than that. Way bigger. These two things got in the fight. Skeletor could crash right into that attack track and shut that shit down real quick. The only thing that I wish that maybe a little bit different is if the claws on the front of this shit could hold a figure like the Mattel version can. But other than that, I don't give a shit. Right there, compared to that big-ass Horde Command crawler down there, ain't nothing gonna get bigger than that. But it's big enough. Three big-ass vehicles that you're gonna design. Great job, brother. Now, right here, I got some weapons. The Revelation He-Man Sword. This big life-size model, it looks good. 3D printers do an amazing job. You can see it was printed in pieces. 
Now, Crackers, Props, and Prince, he does sell these things when he goes to different toy cons, you know what I mean? He had price tags on all these. Each of these weapons, I paid like $15 for. And this shit feels nice and strong now. I want to go around and start swinging this shit with all my might. You know what I mean? I, I might break it. But just to look at it, this shit looks damn good. I like holding it. I always love to, you know what I'm saying, experience holding different life size, different things. You know what I mean? So when he showed me this shit, I was in love. Up well, next, we got the new adventures He-Man Sword. This is the plasma version. You know what I'm saying? Because He-Man, he's from the future. He wishes he could pick that shit up right there. This shit looks so good. Another clean ass print. The crackers, props, and prints did. Now, I think he told me with all these weapons, you know what I mean? He got the files and he just blew that shit up himself. To be able to do that is very amazing. Let me hold this shit right here. I feel good holding this shit. This shit is long as shit. Nice and sturdy. It don't feel like it's going to break on me, but like I said, I'm not going to swing this shit with all my might. But I'm very pleased with this. Look at that, I can pretend. And that's all the swinging I'm going to do with this shit. I'm going to end up hanging this shit on the wall in my new spot. Which if you've seen my previous video, I already hung this shit up. This was the last video I did in my old place. Right here we got the Manny Faces Blaster. Look how big that motherfucker is. That shit is massive. Manny Faces would fall down. This would crush his legs and he would die. That's how big this shit is. Oh my God. You don't know how curious I was to be able to, you know what I'm saying, hold this shit in my hand when I seen it. I remember seeing this shit on his uh, Instagram and being able to hold it. It feels as good as it looks. This shit is so nice. Just pew, pew, pew. Imagine shooting that shit off. That shit is so decent. Look at that shit. I'm just so impressed. You know what I mean? Little things like this, you know what I'm saying, go a long way. And I'm very impressed to have it. And I'm so glad I was able to get a couple more. If he'd have had some other ones, which he told me just the other day, he's got a whole laundry list of different types of weapons he's going to print out. Right here, we got the Cobra Khan Blaster. God damn, that shit is huge. Look at that shit. It looks top heavy, you know what I'm saying, right in the front. And it is. But holding it in the hands, trust and believe when I tell you, that shit feels so good. Oh my goodness. I feel like a, a Motu fucking figure. Pew, 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 pew. Look at that shit. That shit looks so decent, folks. I highly recommend these. If you ever run into his ass at a toy con and you see his booth, he's going to have stickers on this shit. I paid, like I said, $15 for each of these weapons. Do not hesitate to buy this shit. You ain't going to be disappointed. Because I damn sure ain't. I could definitely use these in my Motu stories a little bit later down the line. Let's just say if Oracle does some magic, you know what I'm saying? Makes the bitches life size. That should be decent. Right here, we got Mosquito's Blaster. Now, this one right here, this shit looks pretty goddamn decent. Just the size alone, Mosquito, like I said, it's like the other figures, they will die trying to hold the shit up. I don't give a shit how walked out they are. This shit is big as fuck. And holding this thing feels so good. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at this shit. I'm surprised this shit didn't sell already. Because some of these right here, he did have them at the previous toy con he was at. And they made it back home. <laughs> Not if I was there. How to put all this shit. Another satisfied customer am I. And like I said, with the rest of these things, I'm so glad to get each one. Now I just want to put it out there. Don't just try to start hitting him up. You know what I mean? He just sells them at cons, you know what I mean? He don't really do the shit. Freelance or nothing like that. He's just really into the hobby. And his ass got a 3D printer and knows how to use that shit. Master class. Me driving 20 hours to go get that palace. This damn sure made it worth it. It was worth it already. But this shit extra made it worth it. I want to take a look at his Instagram real quick with y'all. Crackers, props, and prints. Definitely show him some love. Show him a follow on there. This man does crazy ass shit. 
We're gonna look at some shit right now, just so I can show you how deep he goes into the hobby. Already, you can see that a lot of this shit is just so goddamn impressive. Let's take a look down here. Oh, I gotta see this one. Look at that shit right there. Oh my God. Now, he likes to make a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, to fit the uh, the classic Masterverse type of size, you know what I mean? But he also does origin stuff. This right here, I would buy that shit all day. You know what I mean? Some of the shit I had a chance to see in person. You know what I mean? I got a chance to be in the printing room. That shit was like going behind the scenes and towards our rest. You know what I mean? This shit is amazing. Look at all these goddamn swords. Look at the shit. Oh, look at this shit right there. That vintage version, he made it fit on a classic's body. God damn, look at that. I need that shit right there. Sign me up for that. That right there, that looks good too. I actually ordered that two heads off of eBay, which I'm gonna make them figures. Look at that big ass beast right there. What else we got down here? Oh my God, the detail. Look at the detail in these fucking robots. Look at the white ranger fucking sword right there. The dragon, oh my God. This is just incredible work. Right there, that head right there, I got to hold it in my hands. And I tell you, that shit is huge. What else we got right here? Look at that Pixel Dan holding one of his weapons. That's how I felt when I hold those weapons, you know what I'm saying? I'm just shocked just like that. Not only does he does the Motu shit, this man's got a thing for making lightsabers. He probably made every goddamn lightsaber that exists. You know what I mean? I'm not a big Star Wars fan. You know what I'm saying? Hey, may the fourth be with you is coming up. This motherfucker celebrates that shit as he's got all them fucking lightsabers, which he also sells at them toy cons. Look at that Batman DeLorean helmet. Look at that shit. Work that 3D printers can do just blows my mind. More fucking lightsabers. All in all, folks, I want to personally thank Crackers, Props, and Prints for the opportunity to buy all this shit. My appreciation in words cannot express how I feel about all this shit. Thank you, brother. And I'll see all y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.